Hey everybody, I'm going to do a very majestic intro into this video, but uh, with the Wheel and Freedom 4 that you see on a lot of your big wreckers and uh, your fire trucks and stuff, they're an LC, not a Weekan. What that means is uh, it doesn't have a breakout box, it's not software programmable, and basically the pattern you have on is the pattern you get. You have low power, you have cruise lights, you have a TA, if it's equipped with lights in the back, not like fire truck would. But I'm going to show you a video on how to make it sync. A uh, whole alternating solid pattern side to side. As you can see in this video, the light bar is now blasting away in that solid alternating pattern that's synchronized. As I'm going to show you here in a minute, after I pull the lenses off, pull the screws out, I'll show you how to make this light bar synced. You unscrew all your screws here, the six here, your two long ones on the side, and your uh, four on the top. When you take these off and put them on, Try not to use an impact gun because you can uh, overdo it and strip all this guts out. So you pull this lens out. You see your dip switches here. Your dip switch four, I think that uh, enables your low power on your tips of your uh, light bar, the corners uh, from the factory. It is. It will not dim those to meet the NFA PA or whatever the, the acronym for the fire trucks, the lighting protocol. Two, we'll switch the front of the bar backwards. So say the, the TA is over here, but you mount the bar the other way so your TA is in the front. Flip that, vice versa as you need it. Dip switch two. We'll unsync the bar. That's how it's gonna be from the factory. If you want a sync pattern, you take something pointy, more carefully you flick it you have a sync pattern and the reason why the centers aren't on those aren't a separate flash or those are amber as usual I truly hope this video helps somebody have a good day well if you're curious on the size of this it's a t25